desk. Hi everyone, it's Tammy with Luther Fruit Studio. Welcome back. Excuse me for just a minute. I forgot to turn on my other light. It's very cloudy here today, so I hope I have enough light that you guys can see what I have going on. Okay. So today we're back for Color Combo 2024. And we are working on blue, the color blue, in the shape of an oval. Um, this is the second week of this year's challenge. And um, I do have a playlist if you want to go back and see what la last week was. But it was uh, the color red and the shape circle. So, um... You can uh, go back and watch that video if you'd like. I would grab my make for that, but I'm not sure what I did with it. I'm a little bit uh, uh, disorganized. I've had a kind of a rough couple of days, and so I'm trying to get back in the swing of things here and um get this made uh i will tell you as i'm going along here what i've had going on and first i want to apologize for not having a video on sunday but when you hear my story i think you'll understand and um hopefully uh forgive me for that a little bit so um i am going to make a pocket with a journal card in it, and it's going to be for my uh, next abandoned house or If Walls Could Talk journal that I'm going to be starting very shortly. Um, so, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to back this little tag that I have here um, with some cardstock because it's just printed on some regular copy paper and I need it to be just a little stiffer so I'm going to put it on this little scrap piece of cardstock and cut it out again so that it will be um, a little more rigid for me. Um, first thing is my husband had his first eye done uh, surgery yesterday his uh, cataract removed from his left eye and we had his recheck today which is why this video is posting later than normal and um, I'm happy to report that everything looks great and he now has 20-20 vision in his left eye so he will go back in a week to have a recheck and then a week after that he will have the other eye done and so hopefully once both of them are finished he will once again be able to see um bless his heart he has just not been able to see anything um and uh so it's it's really good to have him have one eye done and that be over with and um i know he's very excited to have the other one done now that he sees you know what what's gonna happen and what's gonna be when um he gets them both done he hasn't been able to really do anything um he couldn't drive at night, you know, he couldn't read uh, signs, and it's been really just hard on him. Um, so, that all turned out good, but Sunday, uh, we, and I keep un and stuttering about because I hate to even talk about this, but, you know, and some people I'm sure are going to think it's 
silly, but those of you that have fur babies will understand. We had to, on Sunday, take our rescued beagle baby to, um, to the vet and have him put down. And it was absolutely devastating. Devastating for me, but even more so for my husband who has worked so hard to um, take care of him uh, over the last five years. We've had him five years. And uh, so that's what we had to do Sunday. So needless to say, I was not in the mood to make a video. And um, I wanted to concentrate on my husband on that day and get him mentally prepared for his surgery on Monday after, you know, such a devastation um, for him on Sunday. So, uh, for those of you that do not, um, are new and don't know about my beagle dog. Um, he was uh, abandoned or left or let out or something. Um, and my husband saw him in a, in the parking lot at the grocery store and he was very skinny and you know not a puppy he was very much an elderly dog um estimated to be by the vet at that time about 13. so um when we took him to the vet when we first found him to see if he was chipped or you know anything like that of course he wasn't um the vet checked him out and said that he had a heart murmur and that he probably would not live, um, you know, any longer than six months. And, you know, like I said, that was five years ago. And so my husband and I had decided at that time, okay, well, if that's how it is, then we're going to give him you know, the best six months that he can have and, um, you know, tried to um, do the best we could for him and um, that included, you know, a lot of special foods, medications, you know, anything that we could do to make him comfortable and, um, with the thought of he's going to be around six months and you know we had kind of set our minds to that well you know like i said he lasted five years so you know you can't not be invested in an animal that you've had five years you just can't so Anyway, with that being said, um, he had had a rough um, couple of days and wasn't eating and um, was waking up at night coughing and all, you know, indications that we knew that his heart was not doing well. And so, when we took him in on Sunday to the emergency vet place, um, they checked him out and they said, you know, that they rate the heart on um, a scale of one to six and he was at a five. So, um, You know, my husband made the decision to put him down, um, trying to keep the suffering to a minimum. And um, 
you know, that's, that's a hard thing to do when, um, when your emotions are involved as well. Um, because of course, you know, you want them around. You've, you've had them all this time and you want them to be around and, um, but at the same time, you know, you don't want them to suffer for you. So, anyway, that's what we did. And, uh, that's that. So, um, like I said, a video with, on that day was just not going to happen. So, anyway, we are recovering and, uh, you know, feel good, as good as you can feel about the decision that we made. We, we do thoroughly believe that it was the right one, but that doesn't make it any easier. So, that's my explanation for no video on Sunday and also my explanation for why this video is late. So we're gonna get started here and basically what I've been doing while I'm gabbing is just getting everything inked up and ready to go for the putting this together. All right, so what I have here is I have a digital from uh, Sweet Bee Curiosities that I've made a journal card out of. And it's this cute little um, farmhouse looking house that has lots of blues. And so I just printed this out on cardstock. I believe the size is uh, three by five. And, um, I'm going to leave it just like that. I am going to leave this as it is because it's not a white, white, even though it may look that way on the screen, it is a more of a creamy color and I'm just going to ink around the edges or I inked around the edges to make the card and it's going to go down in this little pocket. And then the pocket is made out of a piece of cardstock. It is a scrapbook paper. It's a six by six pack, and I believe, I can't remember. I wanna say that it's reminisce, but I am not totally sure about that. But it's a kind of, it's denim with these flowers on it. And so I've made a pocket. And then um, you may have seen that I kind of traced an oval to cut my little notch out of instead of a normal round since we're doing ovals. And then to go across the pocket, I'm gonna put this piece of lace across here like this. And then I have cut kind of three ovals. One is out of lace, kind of, sort of. It's kind of, sort of, an oval. It's hard to cut lace in an oval. Does it go this way? I think it goes this way. And then I cut a piece of denim into an oval. I think I want to ink that a little bit, actually. And I'm going to put it on here. And then this is, I believe, by My Porch Prints. Um, and it's just a little blue oval tag. And I'm going to put that on top of that. And then I have this Tim Holtz flower, which is blue. And I have this little girl. And I'm going to set her on here. And then I'm going to have her sitting on this little white button. And I'm going to do this little blue bow. And I have a butterfly. I'm going to put over here. And I have 
this address. It says 38 Rue Bourbon. And I think I'm going to put these little denim strings underneath the butterfly. Just kind of like this. We may have to cut them down a little bit. And then I've got this cute little boy that I'm going to put on here as, as well. So when it gets done, it's going to look like that. So, oh, and then I cut two little ovals out of this, uh, one of the big circles, ovals, like I have here. Um, and I'm going to make a, ta a tab to go up here. And again, I have a little piece of the denim and a little piece of lace. And so it's going to go up here. So, um, that's my plan. So let's get all this glued down. This is going to be a fairly quick one. Um, but we're going to, what do I want to do? I think I'm going to use glue stick to glue this lace down. And then what I may do is stitch around it, or, or stitch, stitch, yeah, around the pocket part. Um, just to kind of give it a little bit more texture. Okay, and I think I'll use art glitter glue to glue the rest of this down. Do I want to... I'm wondering if I want to stitch around that first. Let me go try to stitch around this and I'll come right back. And then we'll put the rest of it together. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. It's not perfect, but it is stitched around. I used a zigzag stitch and just kind of went all the way around the pocket. And now I'm going to glue this other stuff on. If you hear another little whiner, that is Lily. And she is missing brother and requiring quite a bit of a attention right now. So she is at my feet right now wanting me to pay attention to her. She probably actually just wants a snack because that's usually when she comes and bothers me is when she knows she knows she can get to me by one and for a snack. Daddy doesn't give her as many because he thinks she's a, a little too much dog, as he says, and that she eats too much. <laughs> Okay, so there is that part, and then I think we want the flowers next. Get my 
on squished out glue there and then I'm trying to get the string there we go put the button there Set her on the button as much as possible. And put the bow on. And this is just a little scrap piece of little satin ribbon that I had. I want to say this is quarter inch wide ribbon. It is. So just a little quarter inch wide satin ribbon that was in my scraps. All right, and then we'll put our address on here. Looking good, looking good. Then we're gonna put our little strings. I think I'll put the glue on here for that. And our butterfly, and the butterfly is just a little Tim Holtz butterfly. Move all that over just a tad. So it's not covering her up. And then we're going to put our little guy over on the other side. And of course, these are both Tim Holtz paper dolls, the little, little mini ones. Now, let's put our little topper on here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the denim and the lace up here. And then put my ovals on both sides. But I'm wondering if I want to stamp something on there. What could we stamp on the, on these? I need something obviously pretty small. There's some small numbers in this set. Ugh, I'm gonna do the one, four, three. One for three. I don't know if y'all remember, but that's kind of. 
kind of old school for I Love You. So I like that idea. Okay, so now... Lay down our denim and our lace. Is that even in the middle? Close enough for government work. And we'll put our little oval here. And then we'll turn it over and we'll put it, put one here as well. Could have put another light piece of lace under there, but I believe that's all right. I'll tell you what I might do on this side just to break up that plainness is maybe put some uh, script on there, just a portion. So I'm going to use this big stamp that. Um, is uh i'm trying to read that stamp abilities and i think i got this at hobby lobby quite a while ago and i'm going to use potting soil archival and i'm just gonna kind of do that here and there, just to kind of break up all that plainness back there. And I think I might do a little bit more inking. Let me put my pen back in my glue before, before I can't get it in there. There we go, there's our pocket and our little um, journal card with the house on it. I don't think I'm gonna stitch around the card. Nope, I don't think I will. Um, although it would look cute to hand stitch, maybe three little stitches or something there, like three X's or something like that in like a navy blue color. Um, Do I want to do that? Do I have that even close to be able to do that? Probably not, but we'll look and see what we have. I have some light blue, but I don't think that'll show up. Let's 
this is just embroidery thread. What color is this? Oh, I do have some navy. Let's try that. Shall we? All right, so what I'm going to do first is I'm gonna take my little pokey tool because this just keep, helps me um, keep my stitches a little straighter because, you know, I'm not a pro by any means. So I'm gonna poke three holes and then I'm gonna poke okay so another three holes try to keep them as straight so that would give us one Two, I need to do two more. Okay, so now I'm going to poke them a little bit further through. I'm going to take all six strands of the embroidery thread. And hopefully get them through the eye of this needle. There we go. That was way easy. Okay. I'm just going to make three X's here. And I need to remember that this, well, I could always put, I started to say I need to remember that that's going to show on the back and try to get it pretty neat, but I can always put um, washi tape or something over it to make it look a little better. All right, so then that will go in there. Yep, I like that. I like that addition of these little um, stitches. 
stitches. Now I'm wondering, should I put, I don't even, even know if I could get that through there. We're gonna try. I'm just gonna put a little single, oh, I'm tearing the paper up on the back side. That's okay. That's where it was still wet. We'll definitely put tape over that. So it won't affect that card going in or out. if we can make this work. Now, this needle may be too big for this button. May have to come up with a plan, too. Nope, it went through. And, like I said, I'm just going to make a single pass through here. Oh, I need my little gripper thingy. There, I got it. All right, come on. You can do it. go. Took me a second to find the hole. Would have been a good decision to do this before I glued the button on there, but you know, sometimes we don't always think of things in the right order, do we? And like I said, I'll put a little piece of tape on that just to keep the card from sticking on it. And I'll put a little piece of tape on the back where I did that. Or, I no, I can't. I started to say, or I could just, oh, you know what I could do is I could cut or get a little piece of book page or something and put over that. I've got some music page here. And my little pile of stuff that I need to clean up. We'll just put it all the way down the side and then it'll look like it was intentional. What do you think about that? I think that'll work. Eat that. I hate when that happens. I hate when those little pads come off. Do 
if they're still in good shape, guys, I glue them back on. I take some Fabri-Tac and um, glue them right back on there. I don't know if you guys have that problem or not with yours coming apart before they're done, but I do. And see, I mean, that one's more worn but I take some, um, and you can even flip them over like this and then glue them back on with some Fabri-Tac and you've got another surface that you can use. So just a piece of information there. Makes you get a little bit more wear and tear out of them anyway. All right, so that's pretty good. And I think I might could even take like a, another little butterfly if I can find one quickly. Do I have another one that small? Since we have them, have them on the other side, we might could just, since we have that one, we could put one there, is what I'm trying to say. And of course, I'm not going to be able to find one quickly. What did I do? I had three different ones picked out when I chose the one for the front. But can I find it now? No. Of course not. And I didn't leave it out. Oh, my oval punch that I used for the top tab is this oval punch. And it is actually a Tim Holtz Sizzix punch um, that I got at a secondhand, like a, a thrift store. So, I don't know that that is being made anymore, but um, it's a pretty good little punch. I didn't even know he did punches, but I guess at one point he did, and I cannot find that butterfly, but that's my plan, is when I run across that butterfly again, um, I'm going to put it right there over where that knot is. Just so... so No, that's not the same one. It's a sideways one. It would work. I'll use that one. It's not the one I had originally, but it's got blue in it. So, we're going to go with it. And we're just going to glue it right over that knot. Just like that. Alright, so now I'm done. 
I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so if we were to look at it on a journal, which this journal may be too small. This is the one I've been working on. I finally have all my pages prepped to start decorating it. I'm looking for, I have some graph paper in here that has blue. There it is. So if you were to put it on a page like that and then put the card down in it, and that's really cute. And of course, my um, if Walls Could Talk Journal will be much bigger than this one. I just have this one sitting on the desk. So there we go. There's our make for today. And I think that came out really cute. So again, today is Blue Oval. Next week is a yellow, yellow, the color yellow, in a hexagon. So I have no clue on that one, guys. We'll see what we can come up with. I think I do have some digital paper that has hexagons on it. So we might use that. Who knows? Who knows at this point? Um, but thanks for joining me. And again, sorry for the missing video. And thanks for understanding. I'm sure most of you um, have been there and understand uh, totally. Um and I will be back tomorrow, hopefully on time and on schedule for Wednesday um, Grunge Place. So I hope you'll join me then. And until then, everybody have a great evening. And I'll see, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.